Lori. Hi, I'm Misha. Hi, I'm Casey. And we are a sibling team serving the Lord here in Haiti. Our parents founded Real Hope for Haiti in order to share hope for this life and the life to come. After God delivered our parents from a life of drug addiction, they began to explore ways they could serve Him. Following many visits to Haiti, our parents decided to sell all they had and move our family here in 1994. Dad distributed supplies to feed 1,400 children daily in many hard to reach areas, delivering by tractor and wagon. He also drilled wells and preached in churches and outdoor revivals. Mom used her nursing skills to provide much needed medical care. In 98, we began a medical clinic in the remote village of Kaizal at the request of the Haitian Health Department because there was a large population there with limited access to health care. As relationships developed and other needs arose, new ministries beyond medical care were born. Community development, school sponsorship, clean water, foster care, and disaster response are just a few ways that we've been able to show God's love while meeting real needs in our community. Our parents' legacy reminds us of the power and passion of God's grace and love for everyone. This kingdom work that they started is one that we all believe in and pour our lives into daily as we raise our own families here in Haiti and continue the ministry our parents began. We are grateful God led us to the village of Kaizal and gave us a deep love for the people here. They returned that love and how they've shared life with us and taught us over the last two decades. Our roots run deep because God planted us here to stay. Over the years, the Lord has blessed our work and our services have grown. However, the actual size of our clinic and rescue center has remained the same. We rented a four-room house and converted it to a clinic that now has over 165,000 patients on file. When it became evident malnourished kids would require inpatient care, we rented the house next door and opened the rescue center, but it quickly maxed out in its capacity as well. Today we pay rent on seven different buildings. Over 10 years ago, we purchased a sizable piece of land to develop new facilities because we had outgrown our space and the rent money could be used in more productive ways. Unfortunately, this was right around the time of the major earthquake in Haiti in 2010. While we were still engaged in earthquake relief efforts, cholera hit Haiti later that same year. We opened our cholera treatment center on the new land, and that is currently the only building that Real Hope for Haiti owns. Thankfully, cholera has run its course in Haiti, and we were able to recently close that program as a success, having treated over 13,000 patients. So here is our dilemma. We are paying to rent buildings that are too small for our services we provide. Meanwhile, we have opportunities to expand and establish lasting facilities on the land we already own. We believe God will make a way to move all of our vital ministries and staff missionaries to the new land. This move would be a huge investment in infrastructure. The initial phase would include relocating our clinic and our rescue center to our cholera treatment center. This would significantly expand our capacity, moving from a combined area of less than 2,000 square feet of working space to over 12,000 square feet. In addition, development of this new land for the first phase would require adding water systems, a workshop, perimeter fencing, multiple staff homes, and a small schoolhouse for our missionary kids. Completing this building project would enable us to use donations for direct patient care instead of paying rents. Additional space would give us the flexibility to add more healthcare providers, treat more patients, expand our lab and our diagnostic capabilities, isolate and distance patients to prevent transmission of infectious diseases, provide space for parents to stay with their hospitalized children, and offer an area devoted to discipleship and education that will lead people to a deeper faith, healthier families, and a stronger community. This is a big dream, and this is a big ask. And this is an opportunity for you to make a big impact. We believe the people we serve are worth the investment. We believe that our Haitian staff is worth the investment. We believe that the kingdom of God is worth the investment. We believe that the time has come and the moment is now. If you believe with us that this dream is from God, ask him how you could help us make this dream a reality. We would love for you to join our family's work by sharing hope for this life and the life to come, a hope that is rooted in Jesus Christ.